Assalamualaikum guys, if I'm back again with another video. Uh, what we are looking right now, uh, what we are looking at right now is a sales report of a company that provides uh, products to fast food restaurants in the New York uh, state area. We have used this file a number of times previously uh, to uh, demonstrate uh, how to do pivot tables and reports from pivot tables. Now you're going to be using the same uh, Excel file again and this time what we'll be looking at is how to use uh, advanced filters and the sum, sum if, count if uh, and the average uh, formula to do a quick uh, summary report. Okay, So uh, like I said this uh, Excel sheet that we are looking at right now uh, gives you the products sold and the uh, the areas in which these products were sold and the dealers who bought them and the salesperson who was servicing those uh, areas and and the uh, the amount the, the 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 value of the sale and the order date now uh, what we want to do is in this example uh, what i'm going to show you is how to use advanced filters uh, to do a quick summary report Okay, now say for example, you want to uh, do a summary of the sales that took place in each sales area. So you have Brooklyn, you got Harlem, you got the Central Park, Westbridge, Greenwich, and so on and so forth. Uh, these are all areas in the uh, uh, New York uh, State, uh, New York City, and the state uh, area, general area. Now, uh, let's get started. Uh, this column here I'm just gonna highlight that this is the uh, the sales area now what we want to do is like I said we want to have a summary of uh, the number of sales that took place in each area the value of the sales and the average sales okay regardless when the sales took place uh, we just want to do an, a, a, a total uh, over the period uh, the total number of sales the total value of sales and the average sales okay so let's get started now this is the uh, column that shows you the sales area so we click on I'm just gonna zoom in for a bit uh, data and you click on advanced uh, basically what we're doing is we're doing advanced filters okay now it's saying it's asking for the list range and the criteria. I'm just, I'm just going to zoom out for a bit here. Right now, you see it's highlighting the whole table. We don't want the whole table, so we're just going to blank this out. We just want the sales area. Okay. Now, obviously, what we're going to do is we're going to copy this, the, the output from this, to a, a different place. So, copy to another location. And I'm just going to put it up here. Okay. And obviously, we want only the unique records. Meaning, uh, over here, you got Central Park showing a one, two, three, four, five, six, six times. So instead of Central Park showing up as six times, uh, it should only show up once. Uh, Westbridge, one, two, three, four, five. Westbridge is uh, showing up five times. When you do th this filter, it will only show up once. Because obviously, what we're trying to do is, we're trying to uh, do the the total number of sales that took place in the Central Park or the West Bridge or the Greenwich uh, area. So we just want one entry for each area. And that's essentially what this filter will, uh, when you click this unique record, that's essentially what it will uh, accomplish. So you just click on OK, zoom up, and there you have it. So you have Brooklyn, Harlem, Central Park, West Bridge, Greenwich, and Madison Square. So do you, do you, do you see? How each uh, Brooklyn was uh, four, uh, showed up four times. Uh, over here, only showed up once. Harlem uh, had eight entries, only showed up one. Central Park had uh, six entries that only showed up. So basically, what it does is, no matter how many entries you have for each area, it will only show up once. Okay. Now, what we want to do is uh, number of sales. Okay, now the way we would do the number of sales, we will use a count if form, uh, function, and what we'll do is count the number of uh, entries where the sales area is Brooklyn or Harlem or Central Park or what have you. Okay, 
So we go ahead and say count ifs. Now count if and count ifs. The difference is, as I've explained in previous uh, videos, count if only allows you to have one criteria. Count ifs allows you to have multiple criteria. I have a habit of always using count ifs because regardless, because then what it does is. Uh, whether it's one criteria or multiple criteria, I'm just going to use one function. Instead of saying, okay, if it's one, I'm going to use count if. If it's more than one, I'm going to use count ifs. So I, I just, uh, you know, I just find it easier to just use count ifs every time. Okay. So criteria range would be, say, for example, the customer. Oh, I don't know, no, I'm sorry. Criteria range would be actually the, the area. And the criteria is this cell here. So it's going to count how many times Brooklyn showed up in this column here. Okay? And we code the parenthesis, enter. So Brooklyn showed up four times. And I'm just going to copy and drag and copy this format down. And there you go. So. Brooklyn showed up four times, Harlem showed up eight times, Central Park six times, Westbridge five, uh, Greenwich nine, and Madison Square nine times. So those were the number of sales. Now let's look at the value of sales. Now for value, what we'll have to do is use a sum if uh, formula. Again, uh, you can use sum if or sum ifs. Uh, I always tend to use the sum ifs. Now the sum range. That would be the revenue. Criteria range is sales area. And the criteria is this guy here. Close parenthesis. And I'm just going to format this so it gives you a, a comma. So the total number of sales that took place in the Brooklyn area was 2.6 million. And let's now just quickly check. This is the sales of Brooklyn. Okay, so these four entries add up to 2.658. That's exactly what we got here. Okay, and we copy and drag this formula down. There you have it. Okay, so you've got your uh, for each area, you've got your number of sales, you've got your total value of sales, and let's do an average sales which obviously is going to be the total sales divided by total number of sales. And I'm just going to drag this format down. There you go. And that's essentially what you have done is you have gone ahead and used uh, advanced filter and the sum if and count if formulas to do a quick summary. And that's uh, exactly what it is. It, it gives you the sales area the number of sales, the value of the sales, and the average sales. Just a quick uh, summary table that you were able to create using uh, advanced filters and some if and count if uh, functions. And that's it for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please support the channel by subscribing. Thank you.